Getting started. In this lesson, we will cover the steps to install SQL Server Express 2008. If you do not already have the setup files, you can download them for free from www.microsoft.com. From the Downloads menu, select Download Center. In the search bar, search for SQL Express 2008. From the results list, click on Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 SP1 Express Edition. Once at the website, you will be given an option to download either the 32-bit version or the 64. Download the appropriate version based on the computer that you will be installing the software. Once downloaded, run the installation program and select the first option, New Installation or Add Features to an Existing Installation. Accept the license terms and click Next. This will then install the setup support files, after which you may be prompted to restart your computer. If prompted, shut down any other software you are running and restart your machine. If you restarted your machine, you may need to run the setup file again. Alternatively, you will see the feature selection screen. At this point, make sure all four boxes are selected and click Next. Before clicking Next on the next screen, the instance configuration, double check to make sure that you do not already have SQL Server installed on your machine. To do this, go to the control panel and check under the programs to see if there's any SQL Server instance installed. If you haven't, choose Default Instance. If you do already appear to have SQL installed, choose Named Instance and type SQL Training. If you chose Default Instance and installation fails to complete with an error, try reinstalling with the Named Instance. Otherwise, click Next. From the Server Configuration screen, under Account Name against SQL Server Database Engine, select NT Authority slash Network Service with a startup type of Automatic. The account name and startup type will already be set for SQL Server Browser. Click Next. From the Database Engine Configuration screen, select Mix Mode. Create a password that you'll remember. Confirm the password and then click Next. Click Next again. The installation will continue. When the installation is complete, click Close. 